before we have communion, did is there anyone that didn't get their bread and juice? Uh, if you will, raise your hand. Brett will come and, and pass those out. If you did not get those, just have your hand raised and Brett will, will pass those out. So with this morning's communion thoughts, let's start off by looking at the book of Luke. We're going to look at specifically Luke chapter 22, verses 14 through 20. And starting in verse 14, it says this. And when the hour came, he reclined at table, and the apostles with him. And he said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat of it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, the cup, after they had eaten, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. So we read that, and then we think about all the events that happened within the next 24 hours of Jesus and his disciples eating together at this table right here. Multiple events happen within that 24 hours. Within the next 24 hours, Jesus was betrayed by those he cared deeply for. He was arrested. He was tortured. And he died crucified on a cross. For those of us who know the story who live on this side of Jesus' death and his resurrection, because that is a crucial piece in this. For those of us who live on this side of Jesus' death and resurrection, we celebrate the Lord's Supper that was established by him, and we continue to partake in it today. We recognize and we remember Jesus' agony in offering his body and blood so that we could be saved. We also celebrate and remember his victory over death as we partake in communion on the day of the week of his resurrection. That day of the week being today, the first day of the week. We remember Jesus' death as it being the beginning of his victory for us. As it being the beginning of his victory for his church. So at this time, let us go to God in prayer as we reflect and as we remember what was done for us as we give thanks to God for the bread. Let us go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you at this time to thank you, Lord, for the great sacrifice that you made for us so that we can have that true connection to God, Lord. I'm so thankful for that, and I pray that As we partake in this bread, we remember the body that was beaten, Lord, leading up to and on that cross, Lord. I pray that we take this bread in a worthy manner as we reflect and remember this, Lord, that great sacrifice you made for us. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's now go to God in prayer for the cup. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, come to you once again in prayer, Lord. Once again for reflecting and remembering on the great sacrifice that you made for us, Lord, so that we can have eternal salvation. And recognizing and and remembering that it is through you that we have that, Lord. It is by your grace that we have that. 
I pray that we take this cup in remembrance of the blood that was shed leading up to and on that cross, Lord, remembering what you did for us, that grace that was given to us through that sacrifice. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. At this point in our service, we now have an opportunity to give back for the many blessings that God has given us. Um, there will be collection trays coming by in just a little bit after the prayer. But also, one of the ways, one of the mission works that we have is our Kids for Kids program, where Chip will come up in a second with a goat as well as a basket. It's a stuffed goat, so if anyone's scared of actual goats. Uh, He'll come up, and children, adults, anyone can come up and donate to that. Our Kids for Kids program, we use the funds collected through that for buying baby goats as well as sewing machines for widows in India, uh, both very life-sustaining properties for those widows in India. So at this time, let us go to God in prayer for our blessings. Heavenly Father, once again, we come to you in prayer to thank you, Lord to thank you for the blessings you give us, Lord. So many blessings, simply uh, being able to be here today, Lord, waking up today, living in a, a community, an area where, where we are just so greatly blessed, Lord. And, and I, I'm also thankful for the spiritual blessings that we each uh, get as well, Lord. There's so many blessings that you give us, and I pray that this week, we're able to reflect on all that you give each of us individually, Lord, and just kind of count our blessings. Uh, there's so, so many, so many things we take for granted. And I pray at this time the funds that are collected through this congregation are used in a, a, a worthy manner of, of glorifying your name, Lord, through the many different things, many different mission works that we have through this congregation, Lord. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.